I just thought I'd um, share some information on the FT8 for the Yaesu 857D. I've been looking everywhere to try and find a way of um, using basically FT8 on my um, on my Yaesu, but I um, tried everywhere looking, found some bits and pieces, but I ended up, um, what it was, it was making the lead, but there was no cat lead for it either. That I'd see, there was nothing on eBay, had a look about, but I ended up making up a lead and wiring it into the mic, just using the Vox for the FT8, and it seems to have worked pretty well. But yeah, if I just um, go through it, you've got basically a little combo lead with the uh, TRRS, with the mic and and the headphone socket. And if you look, these are basically old cut up speaker leads, extension three and a half mil jack leads. I mean, I just cut those in half and wound them round onto a little circuit board with um, there's a few components, a couple of resistors, a couple of capacitors. Basically, um, you plug from the mic goes on the RJ45 and then you um, basically just use your headphones and you use the Vox setting and you plug that in and then plug this all back in so what you've got is I mean you don't need the um, you don't need to use the MH51, this is the, just a normal fist mic. So now what you've got is, you've got the headphone socket coming out, it's going through, and it goes into the mic socket, which is on the, um, I think it's on the third, so the second or the third pin on there, which plugs in, that's if you've got a combo socket. If not, you can just use these two and then when you plug it into your PC you'll see it'll ask what you want to use as your headset so you use basically you choose the mic the input mic which is basically the output of the speaker from your from your um, Yaesu whatever whatever type of transceiver you've got but yeah this is basically an extension lead it's just an RJ45 it's exactly the same, I mean this pl this can plug into there, I've basically just slid the front off, taken that out and put a, made up a small extension lead, RJ45 with, a, with the pins. I've got a wiring diagram and I'll show you that towards the end of the video, but basically, yeah, that goes through and then you can start receiving on the um, FT8. I'll turn that up, switch that onto monitor. I mean, I had a cue so earlier on, I just wanted to prove that it was actually working okay. But what I did with this component, I used a glue gun to um, seal it all up. I mean, it's a bit messy, but I couldn't find like a little mold for it. But I mean, it seems all right. And I just glue gun the wires in there to keep them nice and safe. But as you can see it's plugged in now and it's receiving it's receiving loads of different um, operators we got there RNW3 and this was part of a QSO I had earlier on but I'll show you that right moving over to the um, the actual setup on the ASU this is the 857D by the way, this is the settings that I've used, basically I set it to Vox, basically using your function you can just switch through the different modes at the bottom there and just set the Vox on or you can turn the Vox off, but you need, obviously for the input for the mic you need the Vox on and basically the settings for the Vox, I set the Vox to 12 the sensitivity because for some reason, I think the, the card, the card in this, it it picks up a little bit of the speaker coming out as well as the mic going in, and sometimes it will transmit automatically. So I put it as low as possible. I basically put it on number 12, 
um, which has worked fine. I mean, 12 to 15, I don't think it's, uh, there's not a lot in it, but I think I did start with 15 actually, and it may have been too sensitive, so I dropped it down to about 12. So that when it starts um, transmitting on the speaker output of the PC into the um, in, in, into the actual uh, mic input, it, it triggers it nicely. It triggers the Vox, so then it starts transmitting from the um, from the FT8 on on the PC there. So that was the uh, so that was the Vox setting, and then also. On the um, go back to the menu, um, which was see the, on the Vox's number 88, I set the power. Um, so if I go down to uh, menu setting 25, I, I give it 25 watts. Um, it's not overly powerful. I mean, you could you could probably push it a bit, but I was just testing it, so I just had it on 25 watts for the output output transmit power and there was um, there was one more there was one more other setting which I changed which was the um, oh there was another setting which I changed which was the um, this was setting number five I think it was number five I basically set the AM mic gain to 60 so, I mean, it's normally, I think default is 50, but I set it to 60 just to give it a little bit more, make it a little bit more sensitive on the mic. But to be honest with you, I didn't think it really made much difference whether it's 50 or 60. It all depends on, on the output from your PC as well. If you turn your PC up really loud, I suppose you don't need that as high. But yeah, so anyway, and I also put a, a programmed with Chirp all the um, FT8 frequencies for for the 20 well for the 20 meters um, yeah basically the, the 20 meters 80 meters 40 meters 160 uh, 17 and 15 I put all them in a in a program um, basically uh, what have we got there let's go back to there FT8 that's it FT8 20 meters which is set up there and then I just made sure the Vox was on, set to, um, like if you push it and hold it, that will give you your, you can change the setting then, but, and then just switch back, and then turn the Vox on and off, and basically once the Vox is on, <clears throat> it's ready to transmit, obviously at 25 watts, which I'll set on menu number 75. And then, once you've, um, you set up the output from your PC. I normally put the speaker output about three quarters on the PC out. And the volume, the, the actual volume, set the volume to about, I set it at 12 o'clock, which is kind of 12 o'clock. 12 nope, oh, just um, transmit. Yeah, 12 o'clock, what's it? Five o'clock is full, say one or two o'clock normally, and that will take it up on the input, um, up to about 40 dB on the input for the FTA. And yeah, uh, that's it really for the, uh, for the settings. But yeah, just make sure you've got the volume up, the Vox on 12, or 15 or whatever, whatever's best. And But you can also listen, if you unplug the combo leads, you can listen to your output from your PC to make sure it is actually going through on the mic connections. By the way, mic connections on this pin, um, on the actual lead going in, is, um, is pin four and five on the RJ45 going in there. But I mean, you can plug your mic in also if you've got a freeway, if you've got a freeway connector for the um, RJ45, then you can plug your mic in also, so you can set up your, your, your standing wave, you set up, you can tune your, uh, 
antenna at the same time or briefly off channel on a low wattage on AM or CW just to check just so you make sure you're transmitting all right but yeah that, I mean that's the menu settings really but uh, like I say I programmed in the FT8 on um, one of my memories right we're just going over to the FT8 screen and as you can see we just started a QSO with uh, Delta Golf 9 Sierra Delta November on the left you can see my I'm, I'm just transmitted down in the bottom left there I'm transmitting the um, message to him giving him his uh, uh, signal report to DG9 at neg 18 DB and now I'm receiving again um, basically receiving is, is um, basically depending on the volume I've got my Yesu set out and the output of the Yesu going into the mic and then I'm transmitting that back out to him neg 19 and over on the right is the power I've normally got that at about 90% and then I'm just gonna send him the uh, 73 just to confirm the QSO and then that's it the log screen comes up and I um, log it add a few details click OK and then that's in the log now if we go to PSK reporter which is uh, PSK reporter.info you can put in your details there, you put in your call sign, uh, your mode, last two hours up to last 12 hours. And um, as you can see on the screen there, uh, about 39 minutes ago is when I basically started doing it. I had a contact with, um, there he is, DG9 SDN over there in uh, Germany. And also you can I basically zoom out and you can see where else you've um, you picked up signals from from other stations and there's one over there I think that's in Barclay Springs over there in um, in America over on the East Coast but yeah and that's it basically it's a it's a nice little lead and it does, does the job it's perfect you just have to put a few settings in and here's the uh, the diagram for it basically you've got the transceiver there on the left PC on the right shows you the earphone out, shows you all the components. Uh, you've got your two capacitors there. One's an electrolytic, remember the positive side on the speaker out. And also over to the right there, you've got the RJ45. It shows you the pins. Because the RJ45 is upside down, obviously you start at eight, but we're only using pins five and four. And if you look there, you've got mic and mic ground. Obviously the bottom rails on each I've labelled the pin, pin, um, pin four is mic up the top, it's got a circle around it, pin five, it's got a circle round on the bottom there. But yeah, that's quite simple really, I mean, anyone can try it, but yeah, like I say, I've tidied the lead up a bit and put some glue on there just to keep it all together. Yeah, and hopefully give it a try, and um, if, you, if you want one of the leads, I can probably make one up. Uh, just leave a message and I can send you one in the post But no, that's fine. Thanks for watching everyone